good afternoon everyone my name is Chris Cooper known as the channel guy trader and I'm reporting to you live from Wall Street Trading's Miami office down in sunny South Florida today's date is Tuesday June the 18th 2013 and here is today's midday market update brought to you by wallstreettrading.com I want to first start by taking a look to see how the indices are trading right now the Dow Jones is up over 115 points <clears throat> the uh, comp Q is up a uh, 24 and a half points. The Russell 2000 is up close to six points. S&P is up close to 10 points. Here, if we take a look at the commodities across the board, here, USO is pretty much flat. It's up a penny. GLD is down a dollar 75. Gold once again getting smashed, continuing its uh, downtrend. GDX down to 78 cents for the gold miners. There, copper JJC is down half uh, half a half a dollar 50 cents. <laughs> um, SLV is down uh, 20 cents. Uh, we take a look at some of the sectors here. The strongest sectors on the board today are the financials, the semiconductors, the transports, um, XLE energy stocks are pretty strong today. The weakest sectors on the board today, you're looking at the gold miners. Um, you're also looking at the home builders. They're still positive from the open, but they're near the bottom of the list along with the biotech stocks. So the strong sectors today are the financials, the semiconductors, the transports, and the energy stocks. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the ES here and take a look at the market actually we had so far this morning. You can see the market's up at nine and a half points uh, and we're continuing to trend higher. You take a look at the 30 minute chart here. All right, we traded a uh, pretty decent overnight. We didn't sell off. We held a pretty, we held a nice little bid overnight. And then uh, right going into the open, we had this nice little downward uh, channel set up that got some nice buying pressure on the open and we've been uh, moving higher since. You take a look at the 15 minute chart. All right, you can see the same thing here. We held the previous days closed, and uh, right when we broke over the 1638, that which was our one of our resistance levels from yesterday, uh, which came into effect again today and to play today again, uh, we had some nice momentum. Then we took over at 1642, we hit 1646. In our live trading room, mywallstreettv.com, uh, we got the traders involved in the ES, letting them know that uh, well, you know some of them may have gotten involved in the ES, but we allowed them to. Um, have more confidence in taking some long trades because right over 1642 we had a target of 1647 and we hit 1646 didn't hit the 1647 but that could still be in play on the uh, five minute chart the ES you can see that we are holding above the previous day's highs the 1641 and we're still trending up so you got some nice action today of course you guys know we have a two day Fed meeting that started today uh, tomorrow's a big day where we'll have a little bit more information of what uh, they were talking about as they have the uh, the uh, conference with Ben Bernanke tomorrow, I believe, at 2:30, and then uh, we'll, be, you know, we'll see what happens. But so far, with all the uh, tapering stuff that they're talking, that they've been talking about the past couple weeks here, and now we have the big meeting tomorrow. We're actually going, uh, we're actually moving higher into that uh, big announcement tomorrow. So we'll see how that uh, comes into effect. If we take a look at some of the uh, ETFs here, that of course that uh, we track. Uh, throughout the day to watch the indices and some of you guys watch the ETFs and not the futures we're going to look at these as well SPY gapped up uh, slightly to 164.52 it's been trading up ever since remember that key level we've been watching in the uh, SPY has been that 164 level mentioned the fact that if we can hold above 164 and get a couple of closes above 164 that'll be bullish so today if we can close above 164 164 half that'll be pretty good um, taking a look at the uh, triple Q's which is the NASDAQ 100 ETF uh, we gapped up slightly as well, broke above previous day's highs, and we've been trending higher ever since. If we could hold above 73.40 uh, previous day's highs, we could get some more continuation action possibly to the top side on the triple Qs. And then you take a look at the Russell 2000, uh, the small caps. Uh, they're actually the strongest index, index this morning here, up 0.83%. Uh, and you can see they're making new highs as we speak right now. So if they continue to make new highs and trend higher, we would have to assume that the other indices are going to try to do the same. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk about some stocks. We had some uh, good stocks on the radar today in the MyWallStreetTV.com trading room. Again, if you have not had a, a chance to go to the trading room, make sure you go to our website, WallStreetTrading.com, and fill out the form on the right-hand side to get access to the room. Or you can contact me at ccooper at the WallStreetTrading.com, and I can uh, allow you, um, I can give you the credentials to get access to the trading room, so you can check it out. Uh, we had a lot of good stuff uh, going on today. Uh, one of the trades that we were able to capitalize really well on was this uh, was this WLT. All right, WLT had a gap up this morning because they got upgraded by Merrill Lynch. Merrill Lynch gave them a $35 price target. As you guys know, the stock has been a uh, very uh, beaten down, so it's 
like a depressed stock right now and uh, gave the nice little buying opportunity for us this morning off that news and off the action that it's been having. The stock has been in play uh, with some of the selling pressure that's been going on in the name because they're, I believe they're trying to raise cash or something like that, so they may have to dilute some of their stock or um, sell some of the assets. But Merrill Lynch came out this morning uh, with the news, which I have right here. Hold on one second. Uh, let's see, one second. WLT. <clears throat> So Morgan Stanley makes positive comments on overweight rated WLT price target 47. Uh, the firm states that uh, although the company is adamant about not raising equity, um, they see almost 200% upside to $35 a share even if the company dilutes shareholders by increasing share count by one third. firm also believes the company will be able to work with its banks to obtain uh, covenant relief and liquidity remains sufficient. So that caused the stock to pop today along with the whole sector. I mean, you could take a look at CNX and a whole A&R and a whole bunch of the GRCC. Um, I actually have the uh, a 30-minute video highlighting this trade, a live trade video that we that I made this morning. It's still uploading on YouTube, but when that gets up, you guys will be able to check it out to see how we traded it here at the office. Um, so that's one stock you could watch in the afternoon. Another stock that we mentioned this morning was Win. Win was a strong stock yesterday, large, uh, big, expensive casino stock, but had a nice little pattern on it. Uh, <clears throat> had a nice symmetrical triangle uh, off the open and it broke out over this 139.40 level and went, went all the way to a high of 140.40. Nothing too crazy there because it has light volume. And then last but not least is uh, Slumberjay SLB, uh, one of the strongest energy stocks yesterday. Uh, we got involved in this one once it was started holding that 79.70 uh, uh, bid there. And traders were able to make some nice profits in this one as well. So Again, if you have not been to the chat room, check it out. Check out the website and uh, check out our Facebook page, Wall Street Trading. Have a great day, folks. Cheers.